The Lancet Union UK, Look, proudly presents Just Dance. Look, me, R, look, you, volume two. Saturday, 26th of October, 2019, at JK Banquet Hall, Forest Hill, London, SE23, 2NE. Doors open 8pm, fee £25 flat. Music by DJ Little & Co. Come and support Look for the betterment of the Lansar community in the area of education, health, art and culture. For info, call 0783 765 Ali you melody, as so we also lean body do no more me For the same money thing, but could them have funny me But can bubble one name, as so them are calling me So, the big up all the hustlers in the streets Where they find it difficult for getting for easy yeah. In a easy yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some not even get side for sleep I can't they say, pray you baba day They said they go sabi usai the money day yeah, me not go go the wrong way I just believe say me I must sabi day And then they are still there, as so what the paper no the joke, no the bluff of any paper I say we day yeah. are still there, as so what the money Money make me draw the man turn We wake yeah. up on me tax, sleep no day And we day have some money paper every day Money rules the one, I saw them say Me not the joke for me, oh no way Papa just say, anytime I catch up now all the day, now all the day So now forgive me the pay, how I enjoy the holiday, the holiday Hello. No. Hello, good evening everybody. My name is Olivette, aka Tucker. Welcome to Diaspora Voices Team Talk. Hope that everyone's well. Hope that everyone had a lovely, lovely week. And also, um, hope that your week didn't cause you lot with stress and headache. Like mine has been a very, very hectic week today, actually, as well. So um, today's topic is going to be talking about friendship groups amongst young people. And also, we're going to talk about um, parents' um, roles in making sure that, you know, their friend, um, the friendship groups of their um, children are secured and ones which will benefit them in the future. If you don't would like to get into this topic, please do not hesitate to call or text or tweet on 079-461-41369. Also, um, follow me on my Instagram page, Olivet Tucker. And let's have a, this conversation because I know that many, many parents, you know, especially when a child's growing up and you are worried about their friendships and what, you know, their friendships will um, implement into, you know, kind of the child's future plans. So um, I want to touch on the base of, first of all, what is friendship? Friendship to me, I feel, is somebody who you can trust somebody who you're able to tell you know your secrets to somebody who you know that even when you're not there they can defend you and someone who you trust you know because I think having a good friendship is important because that person could give you advice could tell you whether what you're doing is wrong and right that person also is able to kind of guide you in what path you may want to take on what path that you may want to lead so you know there are various types of friendships I feel I feel like there's one which is beneficial where one that the beneficial friendship is where you know you have friends but friends feel like how they will take things from you so they see that you've got something so they feel okay at this time you are beneficial for them and there's friends who just are needy because you know there's some friends that are emotional and they just want like your emotional support they want you to talk to them you know and some friends they're just there when it suits them and you know all these types of friendships 
kind of affect the way a person's being. But also, I feel like when you really find a true friendship as you're growing up as a young person, you will definitely, definitely know. Not like for me, I can say when I was young, I had various different friends, but the friends that still remain are the ones that, you know, that are there for me. I don't need to call them every day. I don't need to text them every day. But I know if I pick up the phone that they're going to be there. If I've got an issue, they're there. If I post like a status on, you know, my social media, they can read between the lines and they will call me and they say, you're right, Oliver, how are you? What's going on? You know, friends that that don't judge me, that's always supportive. But also friends that are able to give me constructive criticism and tell me where I'm doing wrong. And I think that is one of the key points of having a good friendship. So um, with that's we're going to be talking about various friendships. I want you lot to come in. I want you to engage. I want you to phone in. Let's talk about the friendships, type of friendship. And also, I want to touch on the friendship, you know, between girls and boys. Because I see men tend to have long-lasting friendships than girls. Girls' friendships, I'm a woman myself, you know, women, our friendships kind of change. And is that because, you know, us as women, we gossip, we talk, we like to congossa, we like to... um try and think that we're better than others or is it because that we're trying to we're competing against each other whereas men they kind of have this code like men can have friends from primary school and you know they keep their friends and wouldn't until their old age whereas us women we don't even know how did i don't i know i don't have a good friend from primary school but secondary school i have a few which is a handful of people but men they were like yeah i've known this guy since yeah we was young da, 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 da. and women were just like oh yeah no no i don't talk to her i don't talk to her i don't talk to her you know either she either took my man or you know she, she every time she comes to my house she's just melee or she's just looking like she thinks she's nice da, 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 you know but instead of us as women congratulating that person you know for achieving the next level were kind of hating on them and whereas guys with their friendships they're bigging up their friends you know they're like yeah bro well done da, 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 da. is that you're moving yeah you know having those words having those talks and they're proper bringing the friendship together so i feel like that's a form of um topic that we should be talking about if anybody's got um, any like views on what i'm saying please call in please message me let's talk about it so um i'm let's focus now i'm going to be focusing on the friendships of young children so obviously like the children now they've kind of moved from primary school into secondary school and some kids like what i touched on before that some of the kids are going into secondary school by themselves and they're trying to make new friendship groups i think as in year seven year seven it's like you're a small fish in a big pond so you're trying to find your friendship groups you're trying to find who suits you and my advice to many of the young children is that just don't stick with one friendship group go to different you know join different clubs join different activities in year seven so you're able to you know widen your circle the more you widen your circle the more you um, widen your knowledge your understanding of different cultures and different people and how they live and how they respect you can you it's, it's so funny because the most people that like, some people say oh that person's a geek but guess what the, that person that you may think is a geek or that person that you may feel that doesn't fit inside your box that is the person that could be your long lasting friend because that person has actually qualities what you are looking for in a friend and don't try to fit in in the friendship group group if you feel that that friendship group doesn't work for you it's okay to go and find somewhere else because at the end of the day don't try and be a lead don't try and you know be a leader of the pack do you and don't try and you know try and fit in just because you want the person who they think is popular to be your friend because guess what down the line that person who they think is popular ends up being nowhere and no one doesn't actually be their friends yeah, that's from experience. <laughs> so I'm just letting you lot know. So if you're like, you know, secondary school and also when you're going through the different changes, because I know a lot of young kids go through that. And I would like all of you young children as well to call in. Let's have this conversation. Let's talk about it. I know that various, some of you young people and your parents that are talking, their parents, you lot can probably relate that 
sometimes your kids will come in and say, oh, mum, yes, I'm Susan. Oh, yes, next is um, David. Next is, you're like, which ones are your friends? And it will start bringing these different, and those also too much different, different friends coming inside your home, coming inside your environment. Parents, you need to watch them and kind of sit down and talk to your friends daughter i'll talk to your son and say why have you got so many different friends what are they contributing why is it that you feel that you want to be this person's friend now or you want to be that person's friend because i feel sometimes a lot of peer pressure comes into play when it comes into having friendships so i think we need to look inside that as well and the way how it's affecting our choices young people in making friends so um I feel that's that is a lot of um peer pressure as well in with that and how is it and how is it affecting all of us as a person because I think sometimes certain friends they they're seeking various um comforts from their friends which they may not be getting at home so they seeking that friendship from okay if I've got this friend, maybe she can, I can tell her this, I can do this and do this. And what you need to understand as well, as you're growing up, young people, because I've got my daughter, she's in year seven, and she, you know, went to secondary school by herself, and she's finding her different friendships. And I've told her, you know, engage in various activities, do various things, you know, go to different, you know, lunchtime clubs, after school club, and just engage with different people the more you engage with people the more you get to know about different people you know the most where this person could be the most funniest person and a lifelong friend and i think your friendships in secondary school is important as well as your friendship as you go into uni and you go into sixth form because they are mostly going to be your lifelong friends and also i feel like um that a lot of um, us as parents as well we need to educate our children we need to talk to them about their friends and say you know what where do you see yourselves what type of friends do you need you need friends who are motivated you need friends who are um going to elevate you friends that will you know praise you that will congratulate you for all your hard work because i've noticed as well in the african caribbean community is that we don't want to be praising especially girls we don't want to be praising our other like our girls for their good work we don't want to be praising like our girls for making it up there but instead we want to be looking at each other like ooh, like at the end of the day have you had time to get to know that person to know how that person is have you had that time to say you know what are you are you okay today no and that's why even i always say to my daughter you know even if you see someone in the corner in class go and talk to them see if they're okay because by you even saying hello to that person and having that little conversation you've may may have created a friendship which may have never ever would have started if you did not put forward yeah so we're going to go on a break and we'll be back so please um give me a call on 079-461-4369 thank you She said she want fit climb on me Me grip it so tight, she not fit up So I said, sweetie, come see me, see me Now she telling me she wants me and needs me Yeah, yeah, yeah. She threatened me no sharing Cause she too feisty and greedy Come play it yeah, all day yeah. My pretty little brown skin Give me ten minutes, she said, yeah, she's counting Carrying her back, that's coming like a mountain Rose crumbling on the wine I said, fix up, oh, that's your girl I ain't here for no mix up Next ring whining like a bad bean She looking in my eyes cause she wants sit badly Summertime sit back, sit back in my Air Force Onesie You know I might dig that girl yeah, 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 she be riding and groaning Till he said my bro just now let me phone him up Yo E, what you telling me? Got two bad bees named Melanie Stephanie That's net for me 
I am mean bad boy, come flex with me And she a step in the dance, what's so so See, I'm like, excuse me, you might know me It's hard for me, you know my team But you're walking past, like you don't even know me I know you're feeling shy when you see stars like we Baby, you're so bright, the only light I see But me have to make it quick and run away My dogs are rich from sunken place It's the year round, we can go some place How far you say, just come my way Oh no 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 Take you away in America, I'm a So protect your daughter How we gonna fall? Summertime, sit back, sit back in my Air Force onesie You know I might dig that girl Yeah, she be riding and groaning too He said, my bro, just now let me phone him up Yo, E, what you telling me? Got two bad bees named Melanie, Stephanie That's not for me I am mean bad boy, come flex with me Summertime, sit back, sit back in my Air Force onesie You know I might dig that girl Yeah, she be riding and groaning too He said, my bro, just now let me phone him up Yo, E, what you telling me? Got two bad bees named Melanie, Stephanie. That's never for me. I am me, bad boy, come flex with me. If you having credit problems, I feel bad for you, son. A thousand problems, but a car rank one. Wills for sure got me back in the car. Leasing with my credit, I was like, ah oh, man, forget it. Who would have thought I'd be accepted and more? But now I got the keys, I feel so pleased. All types of cars, Fiat, Minis, Renaults, you know, boom, boom, let's go. Wills for sure, car leasing for every credit score. Hello, hi everyone, thank you um, for joining me. Um, if you're just joining here for the um, first time today, thank you. And, um, yeah, 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 I know, I know. Oh God, everyone, please forgive me. My manager here, he's just been a bit um, silly today. Actually, my apologies, he did say that it's about education, but actually no. We are not talking about education, we are talking about friendship groups amongst young people. So um, I'm your host, Olivette Tucker, on Teen Talk. So today we are discussing about relationships. And like I was just um, talking before the break, I was talking about um, young people, you know, children starting off in year seven about their friendship groups and just trying to just circulate their friendship groups and trying to know you know themselves and trying to find themselves especially when you're going into um, a new school and it's a new environment I feel like you need to you know widen up your scope of knowing different people so you're able to learn and grow but um, moving um, f on from that as well I also was touching base on saying about men I want you know young people boys a man a young pub team to just phone in and let me know why is it that men friendship seems to last longer than girls please than the females contact me on 079461413369 because i think a lot of us young women myself even i feel that we need to kind of learn from you know men because men they you don't tend to have your friendships last very long don't you very very long and you're thinking oh my god that like these girls girls and i think men as well if you've got your partners or even young girl you know us as girls and women we understand we know that our friendship groups don't last and i feel sometimes it's because that in friendships we expect so much and we're very emotional us as young women we are very emotional human beings so we're just like oh my god like we need our friends to be friends like i remember one time when i was in secondary school there was this girl i'm not gonna name i'm not gonna say nothing but there was this girl oh my god hmm. if you didn't imagine yeah if you didn't talk to her she will not talk to you so basically there was like in my secondary school i'm just gonna give you a little overview about the friendship groups in my secondary school there was different various girls so we had like there was one time a set of us girls, we stopped talking to these other set of girls for about two years. 
three years until year 11 yeah but there was one girl in our group she, she basically she was the head so everyone was like kind of scared of her whatever whatever and then um i remember the girl we some of us had to drop her home can you imagine this someone some of us had to drop her home some of us had to bring her to school we had to go um to her dad's house like we had to go loads and loads of places with her but if we mistake and not do that the girl will not talk to us for like two weeks two weeks and then it, can you imagine and she would be rude she would but it got to a point i think when we got into year 11 we started to realize hold on this girl's using us this girl she's she's really not a friend but then she want us to do everything but she doesn't want to do anything and she will talk she will guard she will moan 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 and then one of my i was talking to one of my other friends from secondary school the other day and she said to me do you remember the person i said yeah and she goes and i said to her so why did you stop talking to the person this is her because the girl said that how i should have waited to get pregnant with her and then the girl got angry with me and i said no so we was just laughing because it's just so funny the things that we would have done we were doing when we was younger and then as we grew we understand hold on at the end of the day if that's supposed to be a real friend it, she should support me no matter what she shouldn't be saying getting angry at me just because i got pregnant at what 16. so when my friend was talking about that i was just like oh my god did we actually really do that in secondary school did we actually really do this you see um, let me just read uh, a comment from Jenna. Um, she said, men are, men are easier to get along with. They don't share their problems or thought amongst each other. Whereas women, we can only tolerate each other for so long and we talk too much. What did I say? Preach, we do talk too much. A bit too much. But my partner always says, Olivet, you know what left? <laughs> And then it says to each other, the girls lay each other's other's business out. Men have loyalty like a man code. Women don't have this. Women love to chat, chat, chat. And what are your thoughts on that, guys? Please call in. Let's have the conversation. Oh seven nine four six one four one three six nine. And you know what, my dear Jenna, I actually agree with you because girls, especially, especially that when we're in the moment. Ah, oh, girls, they can talk. They would talk. They will even tell. Because it's the thing is that I think that sometimes with us girls, we just can't control ourselves. But I think we need to learn to control ourselves as well in regards to sharing some of our personal business with each other. Because then that kind of like breaks the chain of the friendship group. Because maybe, and also remember as well, within friendship groups, I, I've also noticed that within the girls' friendship group, there's always a girl within that friendship group that don't like another girl in the same friendship group. Whereas men, men, I always say men's friendship groups, it's like they all like each other. And they all get along. But they all tell them they have a lot of banter. That they will say, oh, bruv, man, your trainers ain't doing it. But that's a banter. And they will laugh about it, you understand? Or they will say, bruv, you stink a beer, innit? go and wash you know but they're not going to take it to heart but us girls now oh my god you tell a girl you smell of bo she would be like oh my god do, 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 do. do you hear that she told that like right. a <laughs> she won't be talking to you or you say you know what or she says to you does my hair look does my hair look nice and you'd be like nah man your hair don't look nice why are you saying that for look at your face look at your top <laughs> lips da, 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 da. whereas boys will say like i see it amongst like my like my brothers, young boys, you know, like my partner and his friends, they can have banter. Whereas us, we were emotional creatures. If anyone disagrees with me, please call me and let's have this conversation. Women, boys, females, human beings, <laughs> let's have the conversation. 07946141369. You know, let's have this discussion. I want to know, are all men, um, are, are, are there some soft men out there? Are there some, some soft men that really take it to heart? Or am I just, you know, tell me, let me know. And as for the women as well, women, am I, am I wrong in saying that how, you know, we're emotional creatures, which we are? 
We are, we are emotional creatures. Cause I went to a girl school. Oh my god, that school was bitch. Hey, it was bitch. Hey, even parents, please, mums, call me. Like, how, how is it? How's your friendship groups with you know your pairs, your sisters? You know, how is it? How, how are you? How do you find it? Do you find, do you find that you have a strong relationship with um, other girls, or do you feel that you have a more strong relationship with um, your husbands? Let's have that conversation because I feel like it's quite an um, intense conversation. What do you think, manager? Um, girls are bitching. He thinks that the girls are bitch, eh? But no, I, no, 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 no. but I think I think within time, us women we grow women are as so well. Bitching. No, <laughs> yeah, no, but oh, yeah, we understand the Facebook business, but men don't do that as well. And I think that's that's another thing as well for us women and young women as well. You lot go on social media to talk about your business, to cuss each other. So in the community, you lot are the worst for that. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some I've seen some issues on the Facebook. I'm like, really? Really? You lot are really airing out your business like that. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi. Hi. Um I just, want to, I just want to say something about the question that you just asked. Um, the reason why the men relationship grow longer is because the men don't talk too much and the men don't go deep. That's the two things, actually. Because men have to stick to the, the men who have to talk too much like a, like a lady. So um, that's the reason why I think um, the relationship of men goes too long than the, the ladies. Because the men don't talk too much that much and the men don't go deep that much in a way. So what is your tip yeah. then to women then? What do you think? Me? What do you think women, us women, should do then? What women have to do? Yeah. So what do you think us women should do in order to keep our friendships going? They, they need to stop gossiping. They need to mind their own business. They need to give a friendly advice to each other, and they need to be like um, a real friend. Not to talk too much, not to be gossiping. I think that's the, that, that's the main thing. If they want the relationship, the girl relationship to go on, because mm -hmm. if you don't gossip about me, things I told you, or things I, I want you to keep secret, you want to tell them out, that we can, I don't think we can work together because you say what is my secret outside, so I don't think you guys need to be friends with me or I need to be friends with you anyway. So, um, they need to stop talking too much and stop gossiping. I think that's the thing that you keep relationship. So if you stop all those things that I'll be trusting you like everything in my life. Because that's that's the one thing that people that people um actually lose confidence in people because if you if I don't trust you I don't I don't see nothing for me to be with you. You need to trust people so you can be friends with them. If I have to call you my friend, I have to trust you as so. well. Indeed. So I think you have to be trustable. Okay, so would you trust your women then, your woman? I trust my woman and I trust you as well. <laughs> yes, thank you, babe. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was my beautiful baby on the phone, giving you some good words of advice. So um, please call in, text, and let's have the conversation. 07946141396. He said you have to limit your conversations, women, and you have to be, you know, you have to create that trust by actually following out through what um, your friends request. So um, we're going to go on a break, and we'll be back shortly. Hard. Truck, we got mangoes in the backyard 
and all them got be calling me papa Ring ring text now me phone in the batter Used to spin deck now they know me na rapper Buckle man hear me talk in the bath car I speak Creole no this is not patois Back home cold water day you might see me with the man Sarid Anytime that's a length on the stage no say me this cutter day what? I say me this cutter day Buckle man just they talk Don't go saggy them bench and they talk Buckle but they no get Buckle sense we came from the ground and we no been get shit Lint and pence into a pound you know we're good living with the upper Stand out, I never try fitting the tops that I'm sitting. Bro, salon picking. Go to my tailor for the Africana fitting. If you're not busy when I talk, not for listen. I speak Creole, no, this is not pigeon. So sick, I'm Neo, that's one in a million. Yeah, I'm a bad guy, but I'm no villain. I'm chilling, my flow's winning. And every day I eat that size cause it's so filling. Still getting young ticks off some grown women. Boko Boba try flex, but there's no women. No, wait, let me vent. Left off flex with the money where you lent. And I know, say I shot, but me money get lent. You know, say I get the copper. Money low, can't let we top up. Top up. Me and me paddy, walk out with me. We then are yeah, from Kenya, matter pop. Uh, you see the money, no go calm. If God no been there, and we thank Papa God every day with the pray. Let we enter, we bank, make it full now. We earn, and I don't make it even inside it. Proudly presents Just Dance. Look, me, our, look, you. Volume 2. Saturday, 26th of October 2019. At JK Banquet Hall. Forest Hill, London, SE23, 2NE. Doors open 8pm. Fee £25 flat. Music by DJ Little & Co. Come and support Look for the betterment of the Lansar community in the area of education, health, art and culture. For info, call 0783 765 Ali you melody, I saw we also lean party to no mana me for this same money thing, but could them have funny me, but I'm up one name, I saw them a calling me. So we pick up all the hustlers in the streets where they find it difficult for getting for easy. Yeah. In a easy yeah. yeah, yeah. Some not even get side for sleep. I am for they say, pray you papa day. We said they go to be outside the money day. Yeah, me not go go the wrong way. I just believe say me I must have be there. My day I still lay as over the paper. No the joke, no the blow for vend the pizza. I say we day I still lay as over the money. Money make me brother man talk. We wake up on the track, sleep my day. How we dey hustle for the paper every day. Money rules the world, that's all them say. Me not the joke for me, you know where. Baba just say, anytime I catch up now all the day, now all the day, so now forgive me the pay, I want enjoy the holiday, the holiday, 
God, I look so mad, don't I? God, my hair, my wig. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Olivette Tucker, and you're listening to Diaspora, Diaspora Voices Team Talk with me. Today's topic is friendship groups. I want to say thank you very much for um, the caller who called in, Mr. Medby, and just giving us a bit of um, his thoughts on friendships and why it's, you know, important for um, us as people, in, individual, you know, as, as a whole to not kind of, to talk less so we are able to understand and, you know, understand and kind of analyse our friendships and kind of keep that, you know, that um, loyalty to our friends as well. So that was actually some very good points which you've made there. So thank you very much for that. Um, I also want to talk about how secure are you around your friends? Because I feel like a lot of, you know, young people or even us as adults. So like, I can remember like one time when I went out when I was young, well, I wasn't that young and I went out, you know, like even when I used to go out with my friends, you know, and we used to go out, we used to go clubbing, we used to do this, use that, and I could, I could know that, I, I had a group of friends that I go with that I know. Okay, if I want to say, okay, I feel like I'm gonna get, you know, a bit nice today. For you lot that don't know, nice, nice means a bit, you know, tipsy. Yeah, aka drunk today. I feel like I want to do that today, or you know, I feel like that. There'll be a friend that will say, Okay, you know what? I'm not going to drink because I want you to enjoy yourself. Whereas I've been in a situation where I went out and everyone there was, everyone there was, you know, off their face, and that just didn't turn right for me. You know, I lost my hair, I lost my bag, I lost clothing items. That would not be a, an experience I would ever want to um, experience again. But there was somebody there that was able to take us home and take us home safely. And, you know, my friend also helped me as well in the recovery process. So having those kind of friends that are, that are having your back in various different situations, whether you lot are going out for fun or whether you lot are going through like you know various different things because I feel like with friendships you have friends for different situation but I don't know if that's is that is that like how is that is that for guys as well in with girls you have friendships for different situations what about guys do you not have friendships for different situations or is it just for the same situation I speak for myself, no. okay what about you what is it? Your friendships for the same situation or for different situations? I have um, associates. I don't have. I've only got two people that I would classify as friends. Okay. But I've got a lot of associates. Okay. But two people are classified as friends. Okay. So and they are they are as for all conditions, all situations, all weather, all seasons. Okay. And so, but. But I think this is where us as women and young girls get wrong. Because it seems like when we're in a different... Because obviously every aspect of your life, there are people who fit in. And I think us as women and young girls, we kind of automatically say that they're our friends. They're not our associates. Do you understand? So, for example, if you have someone who you talk about the education or you talk about your life or you talk about various things, different sectors, but then we automatically say that they're, they're our friends. But then when that chapter is finished they kind of go do you understand whereas i see with men no matter what that person is there but i've noticed as well you know with men you don't have like one or two solid friends and the rest are you know associates yeah whereas women everybody's our friend no they're not our friend women they're associates they are just there for us to you know kind of 
get to know them if we like them because women our friends don't last i can be honest with you women our friends don't last i i can honestly say for me because i've grown as a woman and as a and, and you know i'm grown now the friends that i have i can count them through my on my hands and i've learned as well you know by being with my partner as well that i don't need a lot of friends you know and i and i think us as women here yeah, we need to also especially aunties and these people and you know older kid the older young people that are going into relationships if you know that you have a solid relationship with your spouse or your partner i think you need to maintain that relationship as well and also be mindful women of how you go and gossip about your relationship as well with the man because sometimes some people that are there that I want to be your friend to know everything about your man they're the ones that's feeding that information and using it against you in order to get with that man so women take time you don't need to listen not everybody you must go and tell your business to yeah even if you and your, your partner are having the best time of your life not everybody needs to know. Not even Facebook don't need to know. Instagram don't need to know. Yeah? You don't need to communicate some of your, you know, your relationship issues, your struggles, your worries with your friends. Or even family members. Because I don't know who's worse, the family member or the friends at sometimes. Who's worse? Family members! <laughs> because, like what I said, they just like to Congo sa. There's too much Congo saying in this Sierra Leonean community. Please, guys, I, I want a girl to phone in. Let's have the conversation. 0794641369. We're talking about friendships here. You lot can, you know, phone me and disagree and say, you know what, there have been. And, you know, I'm not saying there hasn't been, but there has been, you know, some good, good girl friendships. Like, with me, my, I've got, the friends that I have now, I know that they're my friends that are, they're going to be my lifelong friends. Yeah? I've there's there's a lot there's a lot of friends you know so i'm going on my comments now and there is i can't see nothing okay. you read the jenna one yeah okay Are you on? i've read the jenna 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 jenna's one everyone please join in feel free to say what you need to say come on it's 0794614136 nine and also me i'm just begging my thing is this the um facebook the, that's the one that i don't like that is the one that hurts my soul the facebook one gladys gladys can you call please gladys thomas d let's call gladys let's have a conversation because i've because I feel like you have loads of things to say. Let's have this conversation, yeah? It's about you. <laughs> it's about young people. It's about young people and friendships. So, um, Gladys, let's talk. Let's have that conversation. Because I would like to know, maybe, you know, today's 21st century friendships and girls' friendships are not as bitchy as how it was when I grew up. Maybe you guys are more, um, have a solid foundation. That's what they call it. Is it a girl girl code? Girl power. Girl power. Woo. Cause you know now everyone's into girl power and you know, women women's rights, women are the best. So maybe now the friendship groups may have changed. So can someone um Yeah. Ruby, Ruby Woo, can you call please? Hi Ruby, let's have this conversation. It's about young people. Let's discuss about your friendships with young people as well. I would like to hear your views on Diaspora Voices 079-46141369. Let's talk about it. Friendships. Friendships. Parents as well. How is your friendship actually parents with your children? Because I think that's one, that's an important one as well. Because a lot of parents, you know, Sometimes I feel like if you don't have a solid friendship with your children, maybe your children are not able to grasp that friendship when they actually have friends because they've never been taught how to have a solid friendship from the home. I think that is also important. And parents, you need to sit down and talk to your kids about the type of friends, you know. And I think kid, 
chill young people as well we need to actually listen on board because parents are very good at knowing which ones are here for the long run and which one are here just to come and enjoy life and go and i think that's also as well parents you need to be very visualizing with your like me i talk to my kids all about their friends i say well, what's that one about what did you do and if i get a vibe and i tell my kids you know i don't like that person you need to change that because i know the kind of way and the kind of path that I want my children to go to, go through. So I think from a young age, it's important as parents to talk to your children, to educate them and to teach them how to create a positive friendship. Because at the end of the day, you want to feel comfortable that, you know what, my daughters with this set of friends, they're going to be safe. They're going to build something. They're willing to grow because my daughter, she has a friend, her, her friend, they talk about, houses they talk about what they want to do in the future they talk about them being you know young educated black women or women of culture you know coming together empowering themselves they want to buy houses they you know they've got a plan and they're only what 11 but it's because i've taught my daughter from a young age that she needs to find a circle of friends who are able to empower her to be the best and I, as her mum, have empowered her to understand, you know what, you can achieve this, you need to do this, you go this path, you don't do it like that, you don't follow this card, you don't follow that crowd. And if I'm able to analyse her friendships, and I will tell her, no, I don't want you to go because I know how my child is. And I think as parents, we are the ones that know how our children, so if we know our children are easily led astray, we need to make sure that the friends that they bring will not influence them in order for them to lead astray because our children need to be leaders within their own self able leaders in the sense that how they're able to say no i do not want to do this or yes the reason why i did this because it was off of my own choice do you understand it wasn't because of her it's because i wanted to do that so i think that's also another thing as well that we need to also understand as um young people so I'm also saying to parents, please also as well, let's try and engage and communicate with our children in regards to their friendship. Let's see, because you know some people will say, oh, mum, and all this sleepover, sleepover. No, sometimes, you know what, switch up, say, you know what, you don't go to your friend, let your friend come to my house. Let me, let me see your friend, because then you're able to analyse that friend in your home environment. Is that friend a bully? Is that friend trying to take control is that is that does that friend peer pressure your child because i can tell you an example i went on a trip with my son and the boy the young boy said to my son oh my son must buy my son my son must buy him headphones i said headphones i said playstation headphones for what my son mommy mommy i said what i said at the end of the day did my son break your playstation headphone and I said to the boy, don't ever try that with me, not in my child. And I told my son, I said, listen, tell, them, tell him that you are not a, a paying for his headphones and you must go and tell his mum. And I was so happy that I went to that trip because I was able to analyse my child's friendship groups and know which person is beneficial for him and which person is not and which person will actually allow him to grow. Because at the end of the day, remember our children are not here, they're not fools, they're not here to be bullied. They're just here to be play their role in society and be a positive contribution to society. So I think um, as parents, we pay, we play a big part in our children's friendship groups and making sure that they stay focused and they don't be led astray as well because that is really um, one of the key points as well. We need to make sure that as well md linking hello how are you are you okay what are your thoughts on today's topic so please everyone just join in let's talk about it let's talk about the discussion i know there's a lot of young people that's listening but they feel like they don't want to talk about it you can um just send a message so let me know about your friendship groups. How is it going for you? Are you in a place where you feel like, you know what, you may not have no friends, you know? And I think there is a lot of, we need to highlight that as well. There's a lot of people that, you know, don't have any friends because people don't think that they're cool, you know? And there is a lot of people out there that 
you know, are are going through a lot of depression because they don't want no friends. And I, and that's what I say to them as well, that, you know, you guys need to, um, if you see someone in a corner, I always say that to them, but if you see someone standing, sitting by themselves, go and talk to them, because you never know. By you talking to them, you've created a platform of someone actually being acknowledged, and that is a great, great thing. Okay, so um, I would like to say happy birthday to DJ Sukinda. Yeah? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So how old are you, DJ Sukinda? Are you 16? Or are you 100? Okay. So we leave it like that. But I'm sure that um, you'll be doing something for your birthday because he does raves and stuff, isn't he? Okay. All right. So, um... Who's calling? Call him. Call, call, call. Let's have this conversation. Okay, thank you ever so much, Medby, for calling previously. That conversation was really good. Thank you. So, can um, I get any um, other people that wants to call on the back of that just um, to call? All right, then. Um, I will be um, going on a short break, but time is running out. So please, if you want to call your comments and your calls, just call it in because when I come back, it's just to kind of like answer the calls, read the comments and peace out. So 079 Tell them, tell them, tell them, say you there. Tell you never, tell them, say you there. Tell them, tell them, tell them, say you there. Hey, we just send them good on. We just send them good on. We just send them good on. We just send them, we just send them good on. Tell them, say you there. Tell them, tell them, tell them, say you there. Tell you never, tell them, say you there. Tell them, tell them, tell them, say you there. We just send them go down. Boss, boss, we send them go down. Yeah, we just send them go down. Boss, boss, we just send them go down. Enjoy me there. Mamita la el papi, papi chali, eh, el mi oju oju, si bondu oju, el mi mare oju, tinde ya podu, mande at, y una bada tu, oh, 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 Tell you never, tell them say you there. Tell you never, tell them say you there. Tell them, tell them, tell them say you there. Yeah, hey, uh, we just send them good on. Tell them, we just send them good on. Yeah, hey, uh, we just send them good on. Send them, send them, we just send them good on. Uh,
You know, when he puts this camera on thing, he just really takes me off guard and I'm like, in different poses. But hi, welcome back for everybody. My name is Olivette and you're on Team Diaspora Voices Team Talk with me, Olivette Tucker, aka Tucker Tucker Tucker. Pardon? We're talking about three town. I don't know what to do. My manager said, "Talk about three town. Talk about three town." No, um, I just wanted just to touch base that how um, the Disboy Voices actually is going to be running in Sierra Leone <laughs> during the time of December. So I'll be um, kind of um, doing a little talk show kind of thing there but um it's yet to be confirmed yet so that's just working up in the pipelines because they just want to you know bother my soul but yes um also um when you're in sierra leone please yes go down and enjoy yourselves yeah but um also um was i gonna say round up the show now it is coming to an end. I want to say thank you for everybody who's actually um, joined in, who actually um, listened to the show. I really appreciate it. And also for um, the caller, everyone who's called in and contributed by text or calling as well. Um, today's topic was on relationships or build relationships and friendships amongst young people. And I know that many people have been listening, many of the young people and also as well as um, parents. So I do um, hope that you lot do um, encourage to have that conversation with your um, children about their young people, about their peers and who they associate themselves with. Because I think that's very important for them in the long run and making sure that they have like a better you know, outcome in the future. But also my important thing is as parents, please, please, you lot build that relationship with your children. Yeah. Next week's topic is going to be about... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. I want you guys to let me um, tell me about what next week's topic is going to be. And I want this in by Friday. So I'm able to um, talk about it. So can you, the viewers, give me a topic on what to talk about? Yeah? So please get in touch with me either on my Facebook or either on my Instagram page, Olivette Tucker, or please text 0794614369. I'm now it's the viewers. I'm putting it out there for you guys. You guys choose a topic and I will discuss it. You know what? My manager's gonna pick it up and he will just let me tell it on the day and say, Olivette, this is what we're discussing and then we're just gonna roll on it. Yeah? And he's gonna choose the best topic. And that best top that you know best out of three isn't it and then i will um, run through it and yeah talk about it but also when you're not in sierra Leone, i just needed to let you not know that can you not please go and visit beauty plus hair and beauty salon that's in lomley lomley by the beach so go you can get nice beautiful hair done slayed professionally done you know by the hairdresser, Mr. Medby. It's called Beauty Plus. Please, please do not hesitate to go there. And you will not be disappointed. I'm telling you, you get slayed. Yeah? So, um, yeah. It's called Beauty Plus. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Well done. You see? Yay! Manager, well done! <laughs> Give it a round of applause. You see, my manager's listening. He's, he's a good man, <laughs> Mr. DJ Little. <laughs> he's a good man. Well done. God will bless you, yeah. Tell God, thank you, yeah. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, amen. amen. All right, then. Thank you ever so much for everyone for joining in, and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Thanks for logging me off like that. Yeah? No, he's logged me off. Look, because he tried to do four minutes. Four minutes was like, yeah, we'll do five minutes of talking and then five minutes of uh, music and talking, talking. But go on, get your way to Beauty Plus Hair Salon in Sierra Leone. You won't be disappointed. Trust me, trust me, trust me. All right, bye. Yeah. <laughs>
Silver stones Huh Maga only be to Yeah, yeah, yeah The first time I meet you, yeah Walking around the way Kiss so beautiful, oh baby, yeah, yeah, yeah I just had to ask your name So baby, please don't complain Oh, I'm not the same, oh, oh Family, baby, I'm serious. You make me delirious, so I want to ask. Oh, mommy, oh, oh, oh lady, yeah. I want to marry your bikini, yeah. marry your bikini. Yeah. Oh, mommy, oh, oh, oh lady, yeah. I want to marry your bikini, yeah. marry your bikini. Yeah. Oh, 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 baby, oh, baby, oh, lady, yeah. They ask me hey, if I get good intentions. I don't let the land say you forget some patience. Oh, you ain't gotta work so hard anymore, baby. Yeah, you ain't gotta do those things, girl. It's all on me, all on me. Put your hands all on me. I'll be the one and only. I gotta be the guy you need. Send them 
The Lancer UK Look proudly presents Just Dance. Look, me, our, look, you, Volume 2. Saturday, 26th of October 2019, at JK Banquet Hall, Forest Hill, London, SE23, 2NE. Doors open 8 pm. Fee £25 flat. Music by DJ Little Co. 
Come and support Look for the betterment of the Lansar community in the area of education, health, art and culture. For info, call 0783 765 no the joke, no the blow for vend the paper I say we day, I still lay, I so got the money Money make me draw the man to me We wake up on me to act sleep no day How we day have to money paper every day Money rules the world, I saw them say Me no the joke for me, oh no way Who papa just say, any time I catch up now only day Now only day, so now for give me the pay How I enjoy me only day, me only day